Easy Noodles and welcome back to Beyond the Ski On. We're at part 9. Actual part 9. We're getting very close to the end. So I'm going to try and rush through this level because it's a fairly long one and I don't want to have to cut it into two videos again like I did with the last level. So, firstly, hop forward and you get an update. So let's have a look. Uh, location, Cloud Forest, Kivu region, west of Bukavu, Congo. Inventory, ski on piece 3, objectives, explore ancient city ruins, defeat the city guardians, return final ski on part to safe location. Secrets in this level 3, secrets, hunter's reward, Congo trophy. So if we get all the secrets, we get the trophy. So firstly, if we look here, this is misleading, because we do not go down there. We do not have anything to do with that. We want to push this block out of the way so we can pull this lever here. And what this actually does is not lower that grate there, it lowers this grate here. So we can climb up here, climbing up here, come on. <laughs> and before you go through that trap, you want to actually come this way because there is a med pack can't remember whether it's a small or a large. It's a large! So just grab that. Don't forget you can press the sprint button to do the roll manoeuvre. And to get out of this crouch position, press the draw weapons button. So let's come out of the gap. And now we can go through the trap. And you want to select a weapon. This part will take off the most amount of damage. You also want to avoid that round disc in the center. So I think the best weapon might be revolver. Uh, you could also use the shotgun, that one's a good one as well. Whoops. <laughs> let's grab the ledge by shooting. <laughs> right, let's do this. Jumping up. Very badly right now. Very badly. Oh my god, I'm gonna restart. <laughs> How embarrassing! <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> Get my revolver. jump with a curve so we don't go onto the round platform. Can't see and it's quite annoying. Okay, aim for that guy up the top. Awesome. Okay. Come on. Awesome. So that's not too bad. This first part with these two guys, because the guy the other guy was right up on that ledge up there. So this first part is where you will take the most amount of damage. And this level is actually incredibly easy to do without using a med. So yeah, aim for the, the platform there, the disc. Grab in the air, otherwise you will fall down and die. So up in here we have a machete. And that has two purposes. It's like a, a crossbow, not crossbow, a crowbar is what I meant to say. And it cuts through plants. So now I'll do a, a run and jump and grab in the air to hop into this gap. And now we want to aim for that next gap to Lara's right, which can be incredibly annoying. It's very trial and error to see where the best place is to stand. So I'm gonna try and do a stand and jump. But nope. Right, you do not need to know how many times that took me. So, you know, face forward into in the corner, take a step to Lara's right, and then jump and veer and grab. <laughs> right, so this part is where we use our machete. Just press the action button and it highlights the machete, and then she cuts through that like nobody's business. So pull this lever. 
and it opens a gate right up on the top. So uh, to get back up we will need to use the platform again, the bouncy bouncy platform. So don't forget to grab it in the air. Being very careful not to fall off. So you want to be on the left hand side because the door, now it's open, uh, it actually blocks you in that corner. So you want to be on the left. And just do a running jump and grab. Here we go. So don't shoot the monkeys because they're not doing no harm to no one. Here. 
and it's pulled out this uh, stone column thing and we see a torch here but before we grab the torch we're going to go behind here get all this crap out of the way up here on this ledge we've got some shotgun shells so don't forget them because the shotgun is a very handy weapon and also the only other thing in this room take a step back, line yourself up with the line on the ground jump and grab there we go, we've got a secret ceiling compartment and up in here there is a key on this pedestal there are lots of keys in this level finding and collecting and using of the keys okay so now we can grab the torch and you may have already noticed what we need to light you see these two torches on the wall here so we need to light them and the fire is right back here not too far away just here awesome so now we just need to light the torches level. 
here we go so now we've got that we can come out of here now flip out there we go we can flip out that way but not the other way and now we want to move the block back to where we got it from it is annoying no one likes moving blocks but it is necessary if you want awesome stuff especially oozy clips because wheezies are the best if you know what I mean so now if we have a look this dark wall that was here has now gone like magic bro so push the block into the gap and you can see there is a lever what does the lever do? hey there we go now we can get those items Safely claiming the loot, we have some Uzi clips and a large med pack. And now we can go straight and use the key. Such keys. Here we go. So when we get to the top, on the right hand side there is a block and inside there is a large med pack and some revolver ammo. And we get some awesome music in this area. It gets all crazy. So we want to be on the right hand side because there are some gates in the water. So we want to shoot them. So just select the revolver. There is one here and one here. You only need to shoot one because they lead to the same area. So just jump in. On the right, there is a small med pack. And now come through the gap here and here. You want to stay low because there are some traps in here stay high for the next one. And what we need to do is pull this chain right here. That produces a, um, a pole. This music is so distracting. <laughs> it produces a pole for Lara to swing on, to swing across the water on. So when you come out of here, you want to go and deal with a guy, otherwise he will take off a lot of life. shooting shotgun awesome if you wait too long then you can't get to him and he takes off too much health so now we want to come up on the left side of the water so just climb up into this corner because there are some flares we don't really need a lot of flares in this game at all but there, there, just in case. Also over here there is some revolver ammo. And we want to drop down here because there are some more gates to shoot in the water. We're only here to shoot the gates for a secret, so it's not a necessary thing to do but secrets right we want these secrets so inside there there is a chain to pull to open a second door behind this one here so straight away going to get the secret so 
here we go, pull the chain. good for anything. And now, oh, so many oozy bullets. Awesome. And here is the first secret. Cue well. So now just drop back into the water. One 
just here as well. And they are spike traps. So we need to get to the other side of the block, which isn't easy because of these traps. So one way of doing it is to come all the way to the right, take a step back, and turn slightly, take another step back, feel free to save. Okay, and now do a, a running jump. There we go. And then just push the block all the way to the other end, and all of the spikes will be deactivated. So now I'm going to show you the other way of doing it, which is a little bit more difficult. Okay, so this time you want to hop down here. And it's not very easy. You want to jump to the side so she goes straight diagonally over the meeting corners of the two spike traps. Which it's very difficult to line yourself up. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> So just look at her feet and see how straight she is. Oh, unfair, totally unfair. So I got hit by the one in front, so I need to turn a little bit more towards the left. Or, or to the right rather. Just a smidge. Try again. Yes. No. No, no! <laughs> right, smidge to the right. I think that'll be enough of a smidge, and then just... There we go. Take a side step. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Got it. <coughs> so now we can come up and move the block. Move it all the way along, and the uh, the spikes will be deactivated, so you don't need to worry about them. And you can see at the far end what that has done for us. So just hop down and just jump over here. There we go, and pull this lever. So the point of pulling that has given us access to a jump switch for this and uh, here's the jump switch, it's open the gate that was here and the jump switch uh, gives us access to a pole across the other side of the river or the water so we can get straight in front of where Lara is now. So do a running jump. the pole. So it's not on a timer, you've got the creepy music that suggests that we're timed, but we're not. So here we go, just make your way straight up to that pole, just next to the bridge. Just here. You want to be closer to the right hand side, try and be a bit closer because you want to watch where her feet are oh, step back step forward yeah and you want to angle a little bit to the left so I'm gonna save just in case so when you jump you want to veer to the left and grab in the air. There we go. And then just shimmy around. Simple as that. Open the doors at the end by pulling this. 
and you just want to st run straight forward. There is a trap. If you run, <laughs> you'll miss it. <laughs> so just keep going. <laughs> and now behind, you can hear the, the blow dart guy. He's actually the way we came in. Oh, he got me. So wait till you can hear him. There we go. Got him. Right. Super duper. So in this corner, there is a receptacle, but we need two things to combine together to put into it. So firstly, there is a gap behind, oh you can't see it, behind that stone, up in that corner. And there is another gap right up there, you see the monkey bars to get there. So to start with I'm going to go this way, just because it's closer, doesn't matter which one you get first. So I've got some flares in this gap. And just follow it all the way around. Use the, the roll technique. And then to get onto the monkey bars, drop down here. And then you want to press, you know, keep your finger on uh, the grab button, the action button. And you want to jump and press down at the same time. I don't know why, but that's how she grabs monkey bars from a ledge. So don't forget to do the uh, the turn like that, you press the roll button. And here's the gap I was trying to show you. So you just come into the gap and then press the action button. Okay, and we've got the first bit of thing, <laughs> wooden hub I believe is the combined name. Let me have a look, because I've never even thought about it before. <laughs> ah, this one's the wooden hub, okay. Oh, what are you doing, Lara Croft? Awesome, so now just come up this way, because this is the way to the next gap. So this bit can be a bit trickier. You want to grab this, and now that trap in front has started to move. So when you get close to it, it will stop. And it will stop in a stupid position, so you want to come back the way you came to start it off again. Now this may be long-winded, so you can hear it now, so just turn around. And this should be the one. If it's not, just keep going backwards and forwards. There we go. It is a bit long-winded, but backwards and forwards till you get it. Awesome. Okay, so just climb on up. And here is the next piece. Let me see what this one's called. Wooden cog. Ah. Right, and now we can combine these two pieces and use them straight away. <coughs> there we go. So here in the corner is where we use it, so just combine it, and before you use it, you may want to save. The reason being, once we use the cog, it raises that platform, and we want to get into that gap above for a secret. But we only get one chance to do it. So quickly turn and run and 
jump, you do get a bit more time than just quickly go. So don't panic too much, but you only get one shot of doing it. There we go. Second secret of the level. Oops. Okay. Oh, I took fall damage. Right, so now... Just come to any edge. Preferably not the one with the ladder. Just because I don't bother using it. You want to do the action where you go to grab the ledge, but then you don't. So, there we go. Press it and let go again and she'll slide onto the ledge below. And if you're not very good with that technique, you do want to practice. Because there is a part coming up where you will need to use it. Here we go, so try it again for the next ledge. And you see on the other side, there is a gap down below. That is where it is needed. And there is a switch inside that will open the door straight ahead there. So let me run around to the gap. There we go. So just stand in front of the door. Yes! I don't always do it properly. <laughs> I forget to take my finger off and then I'm stuck hovering on the ledge. Now that door is open, and to get out, just do a running jump to the ladder. Easy peasy. So now we can just go straight through the door. So there's no hiccups between here and the next room, the next main area. Awesome, so just, oh no, 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 no. Oh, why? What the hell was that? <laughs> right, here I am. I don't really know what happened just there. I kind of... I didn't turn far enough, I just wanted to go to the ground, but I don't know... I mean, I, I can understand why she died because of that, but, like, she just hit the wall. So, like, what on earth? <laughs> what on earth? So, basically, we need to get across those. So, just climb up and just shimmy across the once and wait for the opportunity. faster option in this game, unfortunately. <laughs> so you're just gonna have to bear with it, take your time. Here we go, just watch her foot on the right to, to make sure she's not going too far over. So get ready, go. So it's not really that difficult, this part. Here we go. Whoa, that was close. So the reason we went across there is because of all the spike traps here. And I didn't show you, there is a switch right there. And we need to raise the block underneath it to be able to pull it. So there is a jump switch up in this corner. So we are on a timer now. So jump onto here. And turn. Run and jump. There we go, hop forward, pull the lever. And then try and be fast enough to- Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> I was gonna say try and be fast enough to jump back as well. I don't really know what happened there. <laughs> that was the first time I've missed it. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm having a, such a bad day today. 
for the timer. Am I lined up? A bit more central. Here we go, dry again. Sit down, run and jump. Just make it. Awesome. So now just to get back up to that ledge, just pull it again. So what the lever did was open these two double doors here. So right, so now we want to actually select the Uzis. This is why we want so much ammo. Brace yourself. We want to get the guy on the roof. Got him. Good. Listen, I'll deal with these two. Oh, right. That wasn't too bad. Okay. So, we've got a door just here. And a door straight ahead that needs a key. And a door here. And that door there is the end of this level. So let me just get the block. And we have two kinds of rockets, which means we will be getting a brand new weapon. Let's quickly have a look. We've got Bazooka Super Ammo and Bazooka Ultra Ammo, which is pretty cool. So up here in the corner, there is a lever. And that opens this door over here. So just run straight in, and you'll get a flyby around the second corner. <laughs> Very dangerous room. So, by all means, save the game. So there will be a lot of saving in this section. So, you want to run forward and turn so that you are facing forward. Some of these jumps are so annoying. Oh, I got it. <laughs> okay. we get some funky music that I'm going to interrupt because I always die on this next jump. <laughs> so you want to come around and be a little more to the left. Doesn't matter. Feel free to save. Brace yourself. Do a turn in the air. Okay. I hit my head. I was a bit too high. And I hit all the buttons. Hang on a minute. automatically jumped off the ledge when I was going to move because I was too high up. I was too high, she banged her head. But anyway, just go from slope to slope when you see that like Lara bumped her head that time. But there is a fail safe slope which is the best thing ever. So if you happen to face the wrong way like I was, just turn in the air. So it's, it's pretty easy that one. This one's not so easy. You want to come not quite all the way to the edge. It doesn't really matter. And you want to be as far back as you can. Right, so we're jumping to another ladder. I hate these ladder jumps. Right, finally, my goodness. Just these ladders are so annoying. So you want to climb up, but do not climb over. Be at the top, and then turn and flip in the air. There we go. 
So coming up here, there is a large med pack. And you may have noticed in the flyby, there is a secret. So I will be getting that, do not panic. To get down, I usually take two steps back, do a standing jump, there we go. And then you can very easily run and jump to here. Plenty of room. There we go, we've got a dead end again, so just press action for the machete. And here we have the key for that door. Here we go. Many, many keys. And this lever is for a platform for the secret. There is a flyby. There we go. Now do not try this yet the flyby has wasted our time so just wait for it to reset and then save the game and try again there we go it's not too difficult oh uh, having said that part is making that jump. So once you're on that higher bit, hop forward and then oh, here we go. <laughs> so concentrating. Once you're on the platform, just do a hop forward because you don't need to be all the way forward to be able to grab the next ledge. And then the next bit is a bit of a leap of faith <laughs> onto this the raised part. And to get back is very easy. Do a running jump to the platform. Oh, what? No way, I missed it! How? Oh, right, okay, I made it back. <laughs> Just. Oh, that's annoyed me so much, I've never missed the jump back. Try it again. Okay. Now we have to get out of this room. And we have to go around the hard way. We have to go this way. Because the door we entered to get into this room is now closed we need to open it. There is a trigger tile on the ground. So let me just save. Because this is the perfect place to save. Once you get to the end of the wall, you want to be about here. Like just two grabs forward. And this is annoying. Yeah, you see can't see the swinging blade. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna be really naughty and save again. Okay. Awesome. Oh my goodness. So you see the tile with the big round circle? That is the tile that will open the door. So it's not easy that bit. Anyway, we are now free to leave. So straight away we can use the key over here. Some crates we can shoot. 
So we've got two more rockets. And we have the bazooka. So I think it's fantastic that that is not part of the secret. So you can get that anyway. But here we are. Here's the trophy room because we've got all the secrets. So we've got a rocket. What kind of rocket did we get? Let me see. Choose ammo. So we've got frags which are bright yellow, super ammo which are a darker yellow, and ultra ammo which are blue. So we've got two lots of Uzi clips. And some shotgun shells along with a large med pack. That was the first item I picked up. And now the trophy. Awesome. So before we enter the level, we want to come over to this on the ground, press action, and you get the option of the machete. So it's actually a lever. Very well hidden lever, because you wouldn't have thought it was a lever. <laughs> So that's opened this door, and we can now end the level. So thank you for joining me in part 9 of Beyond the Ski On. We are so close that next level is the last level. So thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you in the finale.